Computer science is a booming industry, and one high school teacher in McCall is showing his students the equation for success. Tammy Tremblay introduces us to him in this week's Innovative Educator. You're going to create a character buffer up here, which you did in that previous program. Welcome to AP Computer Science at McCall Donnelly High School. The focus is on programming. That looks good. Students decide what projects they want to tackle in here during this multi-year course. So I've had kids take this course as many as three years. It's self-guided with help not far away. Is there any way for me to like restructure this so I can do that or should I just retype the whole thing? Mr. Bill Borg says after 20 plus years developing software, he was excited to teach what he knows to eager learners and started AP Computer Science here three years ago. The first year it was offered nationally. Kids are tech savvy, but they know how to do this really well. They're power users of their phones and, and gadgets and things. They're power users of that, but what they don't really get is that what we do as developers is we write those applications. You know, we write the Facebooks of the world, we write the spreadsheets of the world, and uh, we write those apps that they run, we write the games that they play. And it's lighting a path for these teenagers. It really like changed my view and what I want to do in life. Brooke Richardson is a junior. This is her second year taking AP Computer Science. Um, I've always liked computers and I just thought it would be a fun class and I didn't really know I was this interested until I took it last year and now I'm like really into it. She says Mr. Borg is a big part. It's obvious he loves seeing the transformation in students like Brooke. We have to be able to add you to this other user group and we're kind of in the process of making that work right now. I don't like that. I know. It's <laughs> good that that bugs you. That's good because we'll yeah. fix we'll fix that. Mr. Borg says the point of signing up to be in this classroom is to find out if the computer science field is for you because of course it's not for everyone. But this is a good place for them to figure out hey is this my thing or hey nah doesn't really interest me and you know high school is an awesome time to figure that out. For Brooke it is her thing and she hopes to get into website or video game security after college. Mr. Borg says there's a lot of options when it comes to computer science. And there are writers and there are programmers and there are artists and there are storytellers and there are editors and there are QA people and all those things so we can use that as a way to introduce kids to saying whether you're a programmer or not that's okay. This field is massive. You know, in STEM fields and computer science in particular, you know, this was true 30 years ago, it's still true today. There are far, far, far more job opportunities than there are kids to fill them. It's still not even close. And so I tell the kids, you know, no matter how you want to get involved, it's a job you can love. It's an awesome gig. And by the way, it you know, is a, is a good way to make a living for these kids. And Mr. Borg is giving these students an advantage, starting the AP Computer Science class here in McCall Donnelly High School, getting them excited about where their skills could lead them. Where they come out of here, now they are really, really prepared to hit the ground running and to go do this for real. Mr. Bill Borg, this week's Innovative Educator. Mr. Borg also teaches AP Chemistry and Calculus. He says in the future, he'd love to teach a computer science continuing education class so adults can learn how fun and interesting it can be as well. If you'd like to nominate a teacher as an innovative educator, you can email us at innovativeeducator at ktvb.com.